So I wrote this poem back in September. Um, it's about well, this trigger warning. It's about suicide and self harm and a lot of that kind of stuff. But I was partly inspired by the semicolon project. And if you don't know what that is, it's oh, I have a book here. But I'll read from here. The semicolon was chosen because in literature, a semicolon is used when an author chooses to continue a sentence rather than end it. You are the author, and the sentences are life. You are choosing to continue. So, so that's basically what it is. So I wrote this. Oh, there we go. I'm going to read it. <laughs> it's about a personal experience of an attempt. So anyways, let me read it. And you go to school. Your body filled with adrenaline. Your body shaking. And you try to break out of the, I want to be dead. You tell. You regret telling, and then later you regret regretting. The people, they care, which you know, but still, hearing I love yous and whatnot as you put in an ambulance. Dizzy, sick, extremely tired. The pain of blood draws because it was hard to get a good vein. Doctors and whatnot talk to you. Your therapist comes to safety plan home. One thought before you fall asleep. Stay. Just stay. And, <laughs> Second after. and you stay. Not necessarily because you want to, but you need to. Because you have people who you care, because you can't leave your animals, because there's things you want to accomplish. Your friends beg you to stay. People you think don't care, care. Staying takes a lot of effort. Like, a lot of effort. But stay. Stay because you gotta prove the world you'll survive and accomplish many amazing things. Stay. Stay alive. Stay safe. Stay. Your story isn't over yet. That's basically it. Just a small poem I wrote a while back. It's not the best. But I'm sharing it anyways. Peace out.